was a spacecraft launch. Isn't it cool? I'm so excited. Can you tell me more about it? Spacecraft is a vehicle, but a special vehicle that is designed to fly in space. A spacecraft carries people and things to space and back to Earth. The first spacecraft to fly in space was the Soviet Union's Sputnik 1 in 1957. It was an unmanned spacecraft, meaning there was no human in the spacecraft. Can you believe it? It only weighed 83.6 kilograms, and that's how much my dad weighs. And did you know that before humans went to space, a dog named Laika went to space? Yes, in November of 1957, Sputnik 2 was launched into space carrying Laika. Laika was the first ever animal and a living being to go into space. Sadly, Laika didn't survive the expedition. In the year 1961, the Soviet Union launched the first ever manned spacecraft, the Stock 1, carrying Yuri Gagarin. And he became the first human to go out in space. In 1961, Alan Shepard became the second person and the first ever American to travel into space. He was in space for just 15 minutes. And in 1963, Valentina Tereshkova, the first woman, went to space. It was Apollo 11 that landed the U.S. astronaut Neil Armstrong, who became the first human to step up on the moon in 1969. Spacecraft has come a long way since then. Now, the spacecraft carrying people can stay in space for a longer duration. It's a laboratory in space, and it's called the International Space Station. Astronauts conduct experiments and repair other satellites. As of now, the International Space Station is the biggest object ever flown in space. It goes around the Earth 16 times in a day. Some of the early spacecrafts, such as Vostok and Apollo, were launched into space by huge rockets. Okay, let me tell you something more about rockets. Rockets are like balloons. The air goes one way and the balloon moves in the opposite direction. Rockets work in much the same way. Exhaust gases coming out of the engine nozzle at high speeds to push the rocket forward. Spacecrafts need rockets to reach them into space and then enter into orbit by overcoming the Earth's gravity with very high velocity. That's why rockets need so much fuel and once the fuel is used up, the rockets get separated and burn up in the atmosphere or fall back to the Earth. And only the tiny capsules containing the crew came back to Earth. Traveling to space was so expensive because spacecrafts could only be used once. Then, in 1981, a new kind of spacecraft was used. This spacecraft took off like a rocket and landed like an airplane. It was a reusable, manned spacecraft called a space shuttle. Since the first space exploration, the field of space travel has become so advanced. Today, modern space exploration is reaching areas once only dreamed about, and it will only keep advancing. There are now talks about space tourists. Imagine traveling to space on your vacation. There are even plans for a mission to Mars. NASA is on a journey to Mars with the goal of sending humans to the Red Planet in the 2030s. You might be wondering why humans have to travel into space. It is dangerous and a huge expense. But there are many uses and advantages of space exploration. Besides knowing more about the outer world, space exploration is bringing 
progress in science, technology, medicine, and food production. It's so, so cool! Thank you, Charo. 